Today on Nerd Out, Catalyst Proposals. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano, we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today we're talking about some Catalyst proposals that I'm involved with, um, so let's jump into it. Uh, the first one I'm involved with is for the Drip Drops team. This is the open source voting tool project. So as you may know, Drip Drops held an on-chain vote with the Drip token, so you based your voting power based on how much Drip token you held. Um, as part of this process, we did find some potential improvements that we can make. So basically this project, the goal is to implement these improvements and then open source all the code behind voting so that other Cardano teams can, can utilize it for their own projects. Um, so basically we also want to document the process of how to vote and how the vote can be audited. And the team lead on this particular project is Adam Dean. Uh, the next proposal I want to talk about is the Cardano Main Street Suite. Um, there should be, if it's not out already, there should be an article from Drip Drops about more about this proposal, so I won't touch on it too much. But the idea is that we want blockchain technology to reach mass adoption, and it can't truly do that until there's an app or a killer app that hits product market fit. So, for example, smartphones existed long before the iPhone came about, but it wasn't until the iPhone that they truly hit product market fit and then smartphones took off all over the place. So I think Microsoft had some, you know, pocket PC phones and other stuff years before the iPhone came out. But so the idea here is to release a product that works with uh, merchant consumer payments and the idea there is to hit product market fit. Kyle Solomon is going to be the team lead for this particular project. On the Noom side, uh, there's six different proposals I want to talk about. Uh, the first is KYC solution. So because Noom is going to be doing legally valid contracts on the blockchain, we have to KYC our artists. So we need to verify the artists who they are so that they are then allowed to sign legal agreements and verify uh, that the minted songs are indeed theirs. So that'll pre prevent a lot of fraud from people uploading and trying to mint songs that aren't that aren't theirs. Um, otherwise, they will get caught. So the idea here is to implement a KYC solution for the Noom Artist Portal. Um, Noom itself will not, the foundation will not um, hang on to the user's information. That'll all be stored safely and securely in the KYC provider system. Um, I'm gonna be the team lead on this particular project. Uh, there's also a digital identity integration. This is kind of a follow-on to KYC. So if the artist takes the time to KYC, we might as well issue them a DID that can then be utilized on other apps and dApps. Um, the idea here is to follow the W3C standard for DIDs, which is the same standard that PRISM and any other DID implementations uh, will be following. Not sure yet whether or not we'll implement exactly on PRISM or on another um, one of the many that are playing in the same space, but we will find a good solution for that. And the idea is then if there are additional apps and dApps that the user wants to interact with, there's no need to re-KYC on every platform. They can just look at the DID and say, oh, well, I trust that Noom KYC this user, therefore they are KYC for my platform, my app or dApp. Um, and I'm also going to be leading this particular project. Uh, wallet DAP connector integration. So this is just improving something for the whole Cardano ecosystem of developers. So SIP30 already exists. SIP30 is a standard way for JavaScript to talk to light wallets. So if you're on, you know, say Sunday Swap, MinSwap, Wing Writers, you click that connect wallet, any, any type of thing that has a connect wallet button you're using SIP30 to connect your wallet to that application. And what this proposal does is it creates a React.js component wrapping all of that code in an easy to implement thing. So they won't have to re-implement it for every single wallet, for every single, um, for every, every app that's out there. It's just a very simple, basically add a connect wallet button to your website. It makes it very simple to do that. 
And again, this code will all be open sourced for the community. All Noom code is always open sourced and documented. And the team lead for this project is Trevor Scandalios. Next project is Cogmios open source, doc dev support. So Ogmios is, I've talked about it a few times before, it allows an application to talk to Cardano node through a WebSocket. Um, there's a lot of code that has to happen. You have to write to interact with that WebSocket to get useful information out of it. So Cogmios is a wrapper layer written in Kotlin that will allow Kotlin apps to talk to Ogmios with a simple API. So they just call Kotlin functions like normal to do all the stuff you would need to, to talk to a node, whether that's syncing the blockchain, submitting transactions, etc. That can all happen through Cogmios. And again, this code will all be open sourced on the Noom GitHub. Um, a lot of it is, it's this project has already started, uh, but this uh, funding is for Doc, finishing up the development and then ongoing support of this component. And I'm the team lead for this particular project. Smart contract audit for Project Noom. So we have several smart contracts for Project Noom. We want them to be audited before we put them live on production. We want everybody's music and IP rights to be safe. And so we'll, we'll look at getting these contracts audited. Not a lot to say here. Uh, team lead for this project is our very own Quinn Parkinson, a smart contract developer. And the final project I want to talk about is the marketplace creation. So this is the phase of Noom that happens after the MVP, the minimum viable product. So in the MVP, we have at this point implemented the minting of songs, fractionalizing of ownership, there has to be a way for the artist to sell a portion of their, their rights to investors and fans, etc. And we realize that the average music lover or the average person that wants to get involved with this is not your average crypto user. There's a whole lot of information you have to be to be a crypto user. You have to know how to know about blockchains and wallets and dApps and DEXs and how to trade and what's a, a limit order and a market order. And there's all kinds of barriers to entry that we want to eliminate with this project. Um, so we want end users to be able to participate very simply with a clean interface in an understandable way. Um, also on the artist side, if there's a musician, we also don't want to make that, to turn them into blockchain experts just to use the system. So complex decisions around listing their music royalties, we're going to boil this down to very a very simplified view so an artist can do something like how wide of a distribution do I want to go for and then this will determine like how big of chunks that they sell the individual chunks of their uh, streaming royalties for things like that so how wide it goes out the idea is we don't want just a big whale to come in and buy up everything and then fans can't participate the idea is to really push it far and wide so that there's a wider distribution for fans so maximizing exposure for artist work is, is really the goal. Um, team lead for this project, we don't have any particular team lead. This is an all-team effort. So Tiziana is on our product. We're leading our product. Trevor and myself will be on the dev side. Uh, Florian will be dealing with the legal aspects of this. And Ryan Jones will be providing a lot of our vision and overall um, he'll also be helping out a little bit on, on the product side for what actually gets implemented here. So that are those are the projects that I am a proposal submitter on. So check out the links to the proposals in the description. Also remember to make sure to register. If you're not registered for Catalyst Voting, go into your wallet, find the voting tab, and register to be a voter in the next Catalyst funding round. And then once you've done that, you'll be asked to install the Catalyst app on your phone. It'll connect to your wallet, put your voting power on your phone, and then on the phone is where you actually perform the votes. Um, there's a whole bunch of other videos and instructions on how to do Catalyst voting, but um, yeah, make sure you, you go through that process, get registered. I believe your final date to register is August 4th, so you've got to do it before then. And with that, nerd out. <laughs>